All right, I'm back. Uh, this is um, model build number 37, version 2. This is going to be the Voyager that's going to take a dome base, but it's also It's also going to take a uh, different paint color. Not not for the main hull. Oh, sorry, you can't see, can you? Oh, just a minute. Hmm. Not for the main hull. It's still going to be AS26 Light Ghost Gray. But what I'm going to try to use for the um, panels is a slightly different color. Uh, I don't know if I'll use the gray-green. That might be too intense. And I don't use the light gray because it's too much like royal light gray. But I believe I can use the AS2 light gray. Because it shouldn't be as brown. In fact, it isn't as brown as the TS81 royal light gray. So there you go. I have identified my accent panel color to go with the ship. And they're both aircraft colors because this is way too green. This is way too light. So AS2 light gray it will be. Good. And, all right, so you have the colors picked, and you've seen what else I've done here. I managed to uh, put the top spine piece, and I attached the saucer and reinforced with elastics to the bottom two halves of the secondary hull. I had to trim off the back edge of the saucer, that little lip, but that's what the glue is for. And... That's so that you could fit the pine spine pieces uh, right in the tab here so you can get it on flat, as you can see. See? Nice and flat, just as it should be. Well, it's still not as flat on the right side. You notice that? Still not as flat on the right side as it is on the left. And there is a little gap. But I mean, it's they're not going to be perfect. I've accepted that. But it's as close as I'm going to get. Now, I'm still going to paint the bottom hull uh, separately, of course. And, of course, now you know that these bottom panels here are going to be done with the uh, AS2 light gray, the IJN light gray. And these as well. You see these here. And if I can do the nacelle struts hmm, before I do anything else let's just see here mm -hmm. i'm going to put everything in proper bags i'll be right back and what i'm going to do with these nacelle struts instead i'm going to paint them manually with a paint i can find that matches the light ghost gray i'll have to mix it up manually so that's why i'm going to do the nacelles last especially especially here i don't want to try to mask this off and then end up cutting and everything. I don't want to do that. Hmm. And this one, I'm not going to do any of the iridescent paneling on either. Yeah, and you can see how I did that. See, I showed I attached the top saucer to the secondary hull already. I showed here how I can slide the bottom saucer in between the top saucer and the top of the secondary hull. Of course, I'm going to attach the bottom as well before I attach this. 
because I want to be able to put in the deflector dish and put in the nacelles. Well, I'm not going to save the nacelles for last. I just want to make sure that every piece is easily accessible for painting before I attach it. So I at least get the detail painting, the base coat painting, and everything done before I attach anything. Now, as far as Voyager is concerned, you can do this. You can put it in its box like that, and it should work just fine. But actually, I'm going to keep it outside its box. to make sure that nothing gets wrecked. And I'm going to change the uh, sticky on the box itself. So I'm going to say to me a light gray, to me a AS2, and main hall to me a light Ghost Gray, AS-26. Hmm. So that way you already know how it's going to be arranged. <clears throat> and I will put that right <clears throat> right like that. Mm. Well, if you could see it. There, just for now, while the glue sets, well, actually, that way. <coughs> there you go, like so. You don't want any upwards pressure on the saucer. It could nudge it off the secondary hull. And I'm going to leave the elastics in place until it's painting time. And what am I going to paint? Well, that's going to be the subject of another video. Because that's the secret build. Which you'll find out about in January. Hello everyone. This is Sean. And this is uh, model number 38. Which is actually the non-opaque version of Voyager. You can see how the box looks identical from top and bottom. But you'll see... I actually have already done something with Voyager. I attached the spine piece to the top of the two halves of the secondary hull, and I attached the top saucer also, as you can see here with the tabs. Now, the reason I did that is because I wanted to get rid of the misaligned spine piece from the other ship, which you can see over here. And I also wanted to make sure that the top saucer fit in better and didn't have as much of a gap. And of course I had to, in order to get the spine piece to fit in with all the tabs properly, I had to cut off the, uh, the ledge tab here and fit it in place. But I did already test this bottom piece and it does slide in to the secondary hull so it'll fit properly. And, of course, I have the, uh, the clear pieces, so you can see how different in color the opaque piece is from the old shuttle bay, the one that didn't have any... I'd accidentally cut most of the tabs off by mistake. And you can see the little landing leg from the opaque piece. So you can see the difference, because that has not actually been painted, it may be primed. So I will move the... Uh, everything over. So you can see how I've got it propped up here. I'm still going to use the AS26 light gray, but I have to go to uh, Ottawa in a couple weeks and get another can of spray paint. I'm going to finish my Christmas shopping while I'm there. But I will be using AS32 medium sea gray. For the, uh, ooh, let me press something here. One minute. Yeah, now you can see it somewhat. 
AS32 medium sea gray for the uh, dark panel lines. Dark panel sections, you know, like uh, right along here. No, actually, that's going to be the uh, haze gray, my mistake. What I'm using for the medium sea gray, I'll get the pieces out and I'll show you in a minute. All right, so what I will do for the medium sea gray is I will put them on here. And I realized, unlike the other model, all I have to do is put a bit of tape over top of this, draw the red pen along the seam lines, take the tape off, cut it while it's off the ship, and then it won't cause any damage. And I think I will, I will paint these parts manually. It's a lot less messy that way. You don't have to do as much covering. Same with the phasers and the RCS thrusters and everything. And you know, considering that these parts are here, I might try to actually paint them as well. Since they're right there, I think I might do that. So that is this piece. But I will show you on the instructions the differences that are going to be in this model. It's not that much. I mean, you can see here how I showed I already attached the top saucer and spine piece of the secondary hull. And the bottom saucer can slide in between the top saucer. So it's a bit different. Mm. So I technically have already done this. Ah, here we go. So on step nine, I'm actually going to use the landing leg plugs instead of the landing legs and they're going to fit on the bottom of the secondary hull. I'm going to put them in even before I put the primer on. So let's see here. It should be on this screw tree here. Here we go. Uh, you can see them here. There's the four landing leg plugs. And there's the bottom of the secondary hull that they fit into. So I would put them in place even before I uh, prime the ship. And of course you have the nacelles here. Now I'm going to do the same thing. Put the tape down. Do the red pen on the indents, both of them. Now this one might still get iridescent. Just like those two might. But the, the base color of the panels is just going to be different. That's all. I want to at least do that. And of course you have all the decals. You have the... Uh... So if any landing legs break for the other Voyager, well, you got the spares right here. you got the main deflector. You have the main deflector dish itself. And the clear pieces, of course. So that's, that's good. That's what I did when I first built ships. I primed the whole thing, base coated the whole thing, and then I painted the details. But when I look at the bottom of the ship, just give me one moment, I'll be right back. When I look, oh, wait a minute. Just let it focus for a minute. There you go. When I look at the bottom of the ship, you see how... The escape pods look good as they are. They do not need Inca gold underneath them. Oh my, I just noticed something. I forgot on the number 37, I forgot to do the inner side of that phaser. Look, it's still gray there. So that'll be some detail painting I'll do as well as the underside of the windows on the, the white windows on the secondary hall. But instead of the panel lines being that brown, they will be that gray. So you see how it's not that much different from the hull? It's only a slightly lighter brown gray, because believe it or not, this is actually a gray. TS-81 Royal Light Gray. Couldn't believe it myself, but you can really see the contrast there. But you can see how well the masking worked. Because you just use the etched panel lines to mask everything in place. And technically, these were the panel line color as well. 
until I gave it the uh, iridescent, which you can see there. Okay, so that was, uh, that's the, uh, what I'm going to do for model 38. That will be the Voyager that's on the stand. I had tried to use a small stand, but I'm going to show you why that didn't work in just a moment. I may have just found a solution. Let me just test it on the bottom hull here. So you've got the posable circle stand. Hmm. I thought for sure the posable circle stand would fit in there. And then you can put the other one on top of it. Let me just figure that out. All right, I'm back. So for some reason, it doesn't fit in the small hole here, or it doesn't stay stable. See that? But for some reason, and I don't know why, this fits in perfectly. You see that? So the tall stand is the only one that works for Voyager. Maybe because it's hollow and it'll fit. I just don't get it. That's so strange. But I think I get it. There is a slight lip in there. There is a slight lip in there, which you can see from this angle. And that means... Oh, I need the paper against it to see. There you go. See, you can see that slight lip with the N and the P. That's why the one that is hollow fits in there, and the one that's solid doesn't. At least as far as I can tell. And it appears the one that's hollow has a slightly larger diameter. Yeah, it does. So that's why it fits as well in there. And that's the one that you use for Voyager. And then everything will work out just fine. Huh. So that's good. That'll be that. All right, so that's that, and then put this little stand piece back in the bag. And that's good that I actually got the stand and the, uh, the rod detached. So there you go, that's Voyager. And you can see how I labeled the colors on, the, uh, on here. It says, Tamiya Light Ghost Gray AS26 Main Hull. And accent panel TS. Oh, wait, I got to change that. It's an AS32. Right, here we go. Mm. Got a pencil line around here. AS32. It will be medium sea gray. Medium sea gray. So there, it's corrected now. And this will go here for now. All right. All right, so that, that's all for now for uh, model number 38 and brief update on model 37. So I'll post the video this Friday evening. And we'll see what I get done next week, hopefully on number 37 with more decal progress and now I know that there's some uh, phaser work to do. Everything seems to have got done on the top hull pretty well. Might be a few bits of detail painting to do but that's why I have the uh, Tamiya wood deck tan. Hmm. So I'm going to turn the ship over and then you can do the inner phasers on the one side. All right. So that's all for now, and I'll see you here next time. Bye-bye.